Hello everyone, today I'm going to present the basics of how to use emulation on the Steam Deck. The easiest way is to use EmuDeck because it has lots of emulators included and lots of packages. Uh, of course you don't actually have the ROMs or the BIOS for the mm, consoles you need to install. But we'll get to that a bit later. First, you need to install Emudec. I already have installed it, but you will need to do this. Launch a browser. And go to Emudec, or you can search it on Google like I did here. And go to emudec.com. Here we have a presentation of what you can do. Uh, use the emulator for Nintendo Switch. You would have to install it separately. It's a bit against the rules to um, use uh, ROMs of games you don't own. So I will use uh, an older console, the PlayStation 3. And I must warn you that most of the PlayStation 3 games won't be playable. You can go in menu, you can go in game, like I will show you with um, Motor Storm, Pacific Rift, but you are going to be very far from playing that game really good. It's maximum 20 frames per second and at the good times. It usually drops under 10 frames and it's... and I done a lot of uh, tweakering with the emulator and still the performance didn't grow too much. It's barely playable. Okay, so we're going to use the install guide that Emudec offers here. Uh, if you intend to use your uh, emulated game on an SD card, you must format it accordingly. So let's uh, download the installer now. Copy the installer to your desktop and execute it. First time it will go into the downloads. I already have it there. Can you show in folder? Emulate desktop. You can right click and copy. No need this here. And paste it here. Copy the file and run emudec and you'll see a different menu from what I'm here. After you run it, you'll see the same menu. If you are uh, want to tweak it a little bit more, you can go into custom update, but I don't recommend it. I recommend a quick update because it will install all your games and uh, all your emulators and folder accordingly. And you just continue and let it install. You can uh, choose here the internal storage or an SD card if you have it. I don't have one installed. And continue it and uh, install it. After you install it, you can exit the installer and you will need to use the you will need to use the dolphin file manager and locate where the folders for all the roms have been installed this folder is home emulation you have here BIOS, you will need to find the BIOS or extract it from your own console uh, using tutorials on the net, but I'm sure you can already find them extracted, but it's against the rules to use them. For Yuzu, it emulates Nintendo Switch, so it's a bit against the rules to use it. Uh, for uh, PlayStation 3, like I... Uh, use it now. Usually the BIOS comes from uh, the ROMs. 
So you have a ROM with a PlayStation 3 game. It usually has a system update for the PlayStation uh, for that version that works. And here in the ROMs, you will you are going to put all your ROMs from any emulator you might want. I only use the PlayStation 3 one, which is of course the PlayStation 3, and here in order for it to work you need to have it like this in folder size it it's a bit complicated to extract the files but maybe you can find it like this but you usually the roms on the internet are not uh, pre ready to be played like this so you need to have some patchings for it but the safest bet it would be to make your own rooms from your own game which is a bit harder of course and if you put a game like this with a PS3, PS3 game and a PS3 update the PS3 update contains the update for the correct version of uh, the PlayStation 3 console for this version of the game you will need to make one more step in order for the games to appear in your Steam library you can use the emu deck menu that, that has been installed here and here you have a folder with tools tools and stuff and use the steam rom manager and of course you, you will uh, follow the instructions here Here are the parsers for all the emulators that have uh, that you need because you might need some. Uh, I heard that the Xbox versions are uh, not working very good. I'm at Sony PlayStation 3 and this is the only one I have activated. You have two activators, flat pack, install pack, PAKHS, and extracted ISO because I have extracted my ISO. And when you click it, it shows the parcel type, the configuration title, category, Steam Directory, Steam Global. When After you check the configuration for each uh, emulator, you will need, as the instruction state, click Preview. And generate app list. Uh, of course, if you have... Um, more games in more uh, folders this could take a while i only used pacific rift motor storm for this okay and now the game should be added to my steam library uh, you have now more options to play them of course we have added it to the steam library in order for us to be able to play it from the game mode on steam but you don't need this anymore you will um, find the games here also this is the PlayStation 3 emulator you can launch it here and from here you can launch the game I used this menu to tweak and try to configure the best version I could find for uh, using this game but every option I use I won't get too much frame rate but now I can use also use the game mode and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I have it in the recent games, but let's check it uh, in the library. And it's of course on the... I have it in the collections. The emu deck creates collections for all your uh, emulators so you have i had more playstation 3 games it, they would be added here and of course it's a non-steam game and you can use it from here uh, i uh, you added the rpcs3 emulator here in order to be able to tweak it a bit more i can launch the game from here also
I needed to do some corrections. Uh, the first time when I entered this, uh, entered this game, those PPU and SPU cache uh, took a while. Now it should be faster the second time you're running. You'll be running the game. But as I said, it won't be easy to find the uh, ROMs that really work, or you'll have to modify them. You will find tutorials on the, the internet on how to do the modifications, but there are lengthy. But maybe you're in luck in finding some that work better. Sometimes it gets stuck right near the end, but now it has entered the game. And of course, the vents of the console started. Yes, there were some tweaks I needed to do, so this is about uh, how it works, this is the entire movie. In the menu it works okay, but you see that in game, let's see a more spectacular, uh, let's see the water zone. I turned off the music in case it has uh, author rights. Okay, so as you see 10 frames per second, 11 frames per second. This is the best I could do. And of course it's not really playable like this. It's too bad because the game really looks good considering it's a game from 15 years ago. Okay, I crashed. I'm probably the last one. Let's try to activate the boost. So, you go in game, you see the textures, it is playable, but not really playable. It's working and just like this. Catching up another player. I can't believe this. At least if it has 20 frames per second, but it doesn't work like that either. actually caught more players even in those conditions yeah I managed to do a takeover impressive anyway I had higher expectations I hoped it would work a lot better on the steam deck because it's a pretty powerful uh, machine handheld machine I don't know on uh, better computers how will this work okay reset the track so someone else crashed like me okay so you can actually finish one race like this but I wouldn't recommend this experience. Let's uh, go to the big waterfall right there. And I love that big waterfall. Oh, I was actually close to 20 frames per second at some point. I really loved this waterfall on the PlayStation 3 
when I played this game. I played this game a lot. It's actually one of my favorite games. That's why I wanted to play it on the Steam Deck as well. But it's better than nothing, I guess. But I'll probably need a lot better PC to be able to play it smoothly. Okay, so I'm on a row. I'm actually on a row now. I'm on the ninth place. And like, can I have been on the eighth? Yes. Wow. Don't tell me I can win a race like this. Seventh place, wow. And I crashed a lot. Okay, so I did not see that coming. I lost all my advantage. Got me. No, I won't be able to win it. But still, I managed enough for uh, the conditions given. Okay, so as you have seen, the PlayStation 3 emulation works but is not really playable right now. PlayStation 2 probably it will work very good some usual Nintendo switch games would work but the most demanding one like uh, Legend of Zelda probably not most people uh, use the Wii U emulator to play Legend of Zelda and if you but you will need a lot of time to stay and twinker all the games you want to play for the more complex games like the PlayStation 2 or 3 games there are some uh, hex necessary and uh, some maybe patches to the, if you want them to work and I don't think it's really worth it at least for the PlayStation 3 right now uh, at least not until the emulation is more powerful and more smoothly so this is it if you want to try it you have lots of options I'm sure you find lots of tutorials on how to bring the games and the ROMs and the BIOS and all the stuff you need and you will make them work eventually thank you for watching this i hope it will help you or uh, give you an idea on how the emulation works on the uh, steam deck and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button bye bye